Whoa, this is cool. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to new parenting training. So today I got some dispenser caps. So this are uh, automatic soap, liquid, and spray dispensers. But get this, they are only the top portion. They don't come with a bottle. You can put it in any type of bottle you want. This company is called Easy Cap. They're currently on Kickstarter. I'll put their link down in the description below so you can go check it out. Today, I'm gonna unbox this and then try them out on different bottles and see how they work. So they sent us three different type of dispenser cap. From the outside look of it, they're pretty much the same aside from the fact that on the top, they have a different sticker to tell you which one it is. So this one is model KDL001 and this one is a liquid cap. And this one is 002, and this is a foaming cap. And this one is 003, and this is a spray cap. So um, they are on Kickstarter, so don't judge the book by its cover. So I think once they get everything uh, situated, they will have a better design of box. All right, so let me unbox them. Uh, so this product is uh, all waterproof. Obviously, they need to be. Uh, so it's IPX7 waterproof. So let's open this one. They have a little instruction. And look at this. It's just a cap. And let's see what else they have in here. They have a two. Two sides of different type of cap here. One is small, the other one is large. So that's about it. And each one don't come with uh, spacers okay so this is the first one now let's open up the second one this one is foam uh, model 002 uh, look pretty similar to the first model okay the caps they seem to be a little bit larger than the previous one and here's the tubing as well and let's see the third one this is spray Uh, instruction okay so from the look of it all three of them has pretty much the same design uh, here's a two and also two caps here are the three on the outside look I mean I, I can't really tell what the difference are like they look pretty much the same now there is a slight difference once you flip over if you look underneath the only difference is the tip where the liquid or uh, foam or spray will be coming out so the tips are different and aside from that everything else seems to be the same uh, let's see how this thing operates so if you look on the top this is where the battery will be you push the cap up, release it, and there's a locking mechanism for the battery. Pull the top portion up, and the cap will come off. They require two AAA batteries. Don't forget to pull the tap down to lock it. So there's a button on the, underneath. You press it. Hold it for a few seconds, the light should turn. And now it's on. Alright, so let's test out the first model, which is liquid. I have here the whole container of hand sanitizer. Alright, uh, FYI, the cap, each one don't comes with uh, two smaller stuff that goes into the cap. So make sure this thicker part is in. Now the smaller one, what I have found is when I try to put it into uh, on top of this bottle here. Uh, the smaller washer or spacer, if you want to call it that, uh, is getting in the way. So I can't really seal it tight or uh, the thing will come kind of cook it. So I'm going to leave this out. And just screw on like so. And now it's sitting flush to the top part. And now you just need to connect the tube to the cap itself. Like so, and you might need to do some trimming. So the tube comes with pretty long length. Now, depending on what kind of bottle you are using, for this particular one, you don't want it to be too long. Otherwise, it's gonna be having a hard time to get all the liquid in. 
So what I'm gonna do is just kind of cut to the touching the bottom of the bottle. And now, next thing you want to do is just to push the cap in, like so. Okay, so it's in. So it does fit to just a regular size uh, hand sanitizer. All right, so let's try this out. Push the button underneath the cap. until the low LED light fl flash and here goes nothing oh you might have to prime a little bit to get all the air out okay so um, I primed this about like maybe 10 times so it, it's kind of depending on uh, how many times you pump it but yeah you, you need to prime this thing before you start using it. but anyway so there we go <laughs> see this the liquid just came out. This is the hand sanitizer. One other feature that it has is uh, every time you press, I think there's three stages. Uh, so uh, right now I think it's on the first stage. Now this is the mount that came out. Now if I press again, it should go into a second stage. So each different stage uh, give you small, medium, and large quantity amount of liquid. So yeah, and press again. This is the third. Oh yeah, this is definitely more than uh, the previous two. But hey, this is pretty cool. Turn it off, you just press and hold. And once you see the light uh, flash, well, not really flash, but the red light turns on for like a second and it's now off. All right, let's do the foam. So this is the model 002. Now, this one comes with two. Well, I mean, they are much larger than the 001 cap. Uh, so it's not going to fit this foam bottle. So what I'm going to do is just use one of the cap on different model and try to use it and tighten up the cap and cut the tube to the right length push this in now the first time you're going to use make sure you prime the cap that's it ta-da turn on the red light flash just like the first model uh, you have to prime the cap now once you're done priming then uh, you don't have to do it again so at uh, first time it take a little bit longer so here is the how much it came out with the first stage just like the first model it does have three stages so you press the on off button again once you see the red light flash then this is the second stage. It's slightly more than the first stage. And then press again. So whenever you press the button for the second stage or third stage, second stage will flash twice. And third stage will flash three times. So that way you will know which stage you're actually in. So this is the third stage. Yep. It came out a little bit more than the second one. So anyway, this is the foam cap. And let's try out the third one, the spray. Okay, so the last one, this is the sprayer. Uh, okay, so basically we've been using uh, alcohol. So this is a just a spray bottle we pick up uh, from the store. So we just pour the alcohol into here. So now that we have this cap, I'm just gonna go straight into the alcohol bottle instead of pouring it out. Cause every time I pour it out, I, I kind of spill some. So this way, I would never spill any. All right, let's see. I'm just gonna take the spacer out. Cause it works just fine without the spacer for me anyway. And then, now what I need to do is just cut
All right, turn it on. So let's <laughs> go. Oh, okay. On the second try, it's already sprayed. Ooh, this sprays quite a bit. I think it sprayed even more than the bottle that I have. Anyway, that's the f actually that's the first stage. Let's see what the second stage would do. So you press again. Oh, it's a lot. <laughs> but that's that's a lot. Yeah. Okay. Should we try the third one? Uh, third stage. Okay. Anyway. So the light flashed three times now. So my wife just backed away. I don't know why. This thing is spraying this way, not to her. But she just backed up. But oh, it's quite a lot. So yeah, this thing is really really cool. Let me turn this off. So my final thought about this cap. I really like it. Three different kinds, right? So we have the liquid, the foam, and the spray. Now they on Kickstarter, as I mentioned before, you just go check out the link down below and you will find more information about them and how to purchase them. Some of the pros, they provide you with four different type of caps for you to put on any type of bottle that you will have. This is neat because what will happen is, look, this is a regular size hand sanitizer. Normally, we've been using is to pour it out into a smaller container to take it to go or use it in house. Now with this, you probably don't need to pour it out. You just put on the cap and you can have it anywhere you want to. Same thing with the foam. Now this bottle is actually a refill bottle. For this particular brand, it has a pump for the foam. Now this we buy as a refill. This is supposed to refill the pump size. Now. With the cap, we don't need the pump size anymore. We just put on the cap and there you go. You don't have to switch or pour it out to somewhere else. Just like the alcohol. Like every time I pour it out, I end up spilling some out on the floor. So yeah, the pros is that once you put it on, you won't have to face spilling ever again. Because this fitting to any type of bottle, you can. You can just buy the regular size refill bottle instead of the small size use it and toss type of bottle now the con is that well i have three different type of caps here so it will be nice if they're able to combine all three into one single type of cap that will be really cool that will be super convenient so you just pretty much buy one and then just switch around like depending on what kind of bottle what kind of liquid you want to use once you get them uh, what i would suggest you to do is just label them you can either write on the top on the back i think this is a perfect spot for you to write something or put a label there according to the instruction if you end up putting the cap on the liquid that they're not supposed to work on then it potentially might damage the cap you guys should definitely go check out the link and if you want just go buy one right now they have a sale because it's on the kickstarter you can get the first step on the caps so if you have any questions comment down below until next time bye